What's up everybody, NT Certified here. Today is Tuesday. We're about a half hour away from SmackDown going live on the air. There's no way I'm gonna get this video up before SmackDown goes live on the air and that's my favorite show. You guys know this, but I heard today that WWE 2K19 is gonna have a brand new game mode and it's gonna be called Towers. Now, immediately I thought Mortal Kombat. Because, you know, Mortal Kombat had its own version of a towers mode where you do different challenges as you go up through the ranks. Which is going to be similar to what 2K19 is going to feature. So, I got a bunch of screenshots from the 2K website. We're going to go through them, try to dissect them a little bit. And we're going to see what this tower mode is all about. Because I'm kind of excited. Because it kind of gives me a feel of classic arcade wrestling gaming but we'll see let's take a look okay so this is the press release from the 2k website and it reads debuting in wwe 2k19 is a new feature called towers in this new mode players choose wwe superstars or their my players to compete in a string or to compete against a string of WWE superstar opponents. Each tower features its own unique theme and populated and is populated by a roster of WWE superstars across a variety of challenging matches, including different win conditions and fun stipulations. So immediately everything is gonna be different, which is just like the, the Mortal Kombat towers. Now there's gonna be two types. As you can read, it says gauntlet. So that means that you have to sit and play the entire tower to earn the points. If you quit early or you leave, you go back to square one and you have steps tower. The steps tower is where you can climb the ranks of the tower at your own pace, come back, save it, and come back and play it again. So each tower is gonna have its own specific goals. Um, a lot of matches are going to have different stipulations and different like player and opponent buffs, meaning you can start a match with half health or, you know, 10% health or, you know, with one or two finishers or maybe no finishers at all, which makes it pretty interesting. Uh, match types are going to vary between steel cage, table, submission, Iron Man, false count anywhere, or probably any other match that they have, you know, on the game this year. And in 2K Towers, uh, players choose a WWE Superstar to compete against a wide range of superstars across a number of challenging towers. So the roster is based on the specific match type because they're themed, which is pretty cool, which actually takes me into the next few screenshots. Let's go into the next couple. So here's one of the first screenshots. Okay, now this is Legends, the People's Tower. Now I'm not sure if the People's Tower is the name of the actual tower itself because The Rock is the first opponent and it looks like it has a last man standing match. So you're facing The Rock, 0-1 in a last man standing match. The second match is Kurt Angle. The third match is Eddie Guerrero. The fourth match is Ultimate Warrior and so forth. As you can see, it's 15 matches. This is one of the step towers, and this is from the beginning. So you can, you can, you know, get different challenges, uh, score 45,000 points, score 90,000 points, and score 120,000 points. And I'm guessing that's based off of the moves that you do and how well you do in those uh, matches. So that makes it pretty interesting, gives you a reason to actually go through and, and do as much as you can as you play these matches, which kind of rubs the itch of the simulation end of WWE and not really the arcade, you know, do what you want, have fun style that a lot of people have been clamoring for for a very long time. So in this second screenshot, you have the Legends People's Tower uh, screenshot that we just looked at, but you also have eight others. So you have the tour of WWE, which has Braun Strowman on it. You have the Legends Alliance, or the Andres Alliance, which has Andre the Giant. You have Monsters, which has Vader. Jericho's List, which is clever uh, for Raw's War. You have the Women's Revolution Number 1, which has Trish Stratus. The Randy Savages, which would be a pretty, 
pretty cool uh, tag team name if they ran with that back in the past for WCW. And then you also have a Women's Revolution number two. So I'm guessing all of these are step challenges, but it also reveals a lot of characters that were not announced previously in the game, which is another cool thing. But if you look at the actual picture in the People's Tower, I see The Rock, I see Austin, I see Taker, but there's two people that are not there. I'm wondering who those other two people are. They don't look like random placeholders. They actually look like people. And one of them could either be Batista or Goldberg, in my opinion, but I'm not sure. So the third screenshot is from the Million Dollar Tower. Now this is the gauntlet style. Now the first match, somebody chose AJ Styles and they're facing Bobby Roode. So the next match they face Joe, next match Brian, next match Anderson. And if you notice, it says gauntlet no recovery. So what that means is that you have to can play, you have to play continuously and you can't lose. If you lose, you go all the way back to the beginning of the tower, which is gonna suck for a lot of people, including myself. And I'm really, really not looking forward to that. Now, this is probably the most interesting of all of the screenshots that they posted today. So here is what I'm, what I assume to be the main menu. Um, as you can see across the top, you have the news, the My Player, My Career, Road to Glory, My Player Towers, and My Stats. Okay, now you have what seems to be a daily gauntlet, which only has five matches. Um, the scores are a lot lower, 15,000, 30,000, 40,000 is called the best of the best, and it has John Cena. So I'm guessing it's going to be like John Cena, Triple H, Undertaker, Austin, Rock, or something along that line. You also have a weekly five count. Now, I'm not sure what five count means, but Biggie Langston, when he was Biggie Langston at NXT, used to use a five count. So I'm not sure if that's going to be like some weird stipulation that they're going to add to it. And then you have your pay-per-view gauntlet, Raw Champions from 16 to 18, SmackDown Live Champions of 16 to 18, Champions of NXT. Now, what's more interesting are the little intricate things on this page. If you look along the bottom, you see that the square has a loot pack store. Now, I am not a person for loot crates, loot boxes, or even loot packs. So if WWE is gonna start selling loot packs in their video games, I'm gonna be highly, highly upset especially since i'm buying the woo edition i should be getting everything for free like i don't want to have to pay for a boost i don't want to pay for a cosmetic none of that i'll go into the game and i'll alter my own attires i spend hours upon hours doing that anyway i don't need to pay 2k to do anything for me and next to that there's a boost and payback I have no clue what boost and payback could be. Maybe you can add certain buffers to your character at some point as you play. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll be more interested to see exactly what that's all about. Now, if you move over to the right side, when you look under the boost and payback, you see a couple of those, um, like those different like power-ups that you used to be able to use like the, the pin stealer and the high flyer and, and different things like that. So maybe they're building on that a little bit and making that better because I always thought that was a pretty cool feature depending on the type of uh, character that you had. Now look just below that. See it says Valor Club and it has like a little avatar. That's cool. That's cool and I'm wondering how they're gonna allow people to alter that. Are you gonna be able to put in your own like images along with the WWE style images in different backgrounds. Maybe you can pay for different backgrounds. I'm not 100% sure where they're gonna do with that, but it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. And this is the this is the last screenshot. So this is the AJ Styles Million Dollar Tower. So if you 
are, if you want to win a million dollars and you want to try and play AJ Styles and beat AJ Styles in the house that AJ Styles built, this is where you do it. And this is really cool. And this is the first time that I think WWE has done something like this, but it gives you the actual, you know, tower details, which are pretty straightforward. You know, defeat all 15 opponents in the tower. You must beat all 15 in one run. Health between matches does not regenerate and a loss will reset your progress back to the beginning of the tower. And I can't imagine how many people are going to be just going, going, going and going and losing at like match number 14 or match number 15 because the difficulty is just getting higher and higher and higher and, and it's just it's cool it's cool I'm really looking forward to 2k19 I know for the most part the game is mainly just an update of the rosters and it's been that way for a long time like the games aren't really evolving uh, the, the characters are, are looking the same year after year. Like, I don't understand why they chose to put another black attire on AJ Styles, especially when he has so many other attires that kind of stand out and jump out at you, but they chose that black attire with the, the light blue stripe. Like, I don't understand things like that. So, as time goes on I'll be you know digging into this game a whole lot more and getting more information and just trying to dissect it just to see where 2k19 stands compared to the past games because I'm, I'm excited for it but I want something different I want something more something that I haven't seen before something that I haven't done before but despite all that I have the Wu edition I'm getting that Ric Flair pop toy I don't care about that ring, but I like the pieces of the robe, and of course, I gotta get my WWE Supercard uh, characters because I play Supercard a lot, and I enjoy playing Supercard, and I can't wait to have these additional cards in my pack. Hopefully, they're Goliath. If you are a Supercard player out there, let me know. Let me know. Anyways guys, this is NT Certified. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you join the Certified Club and I will see you in the next 2K19 news video. Peace.